What's up, my Jack brother? Today we're gonna talk about what kills fat loss progress more than anything else I've ever seen in my 20 plus years of coaching experience. And it came up once again this week during one of our live video group calls in the Jack Dad Party Club, where one of our fellow bros asked for some extra accountability because he felt that everyone else in his life was sabotaging him with their well-meaning comments. What he's been finding whenever he shares his goals with the people closest to him in his life and lets him know that he wants to lose a few pounds, the response he often gets in return is, why do you need to lose a few pounds? You'll look good the way you are. And he appreciates those comments. It's very kind of them to say that he looks good the way he is right now. Uh, but what he's really finding is that when he hears that kind of response, it triggers behaviors in himself that aren't in support of his goals, that aren't in align with the lifestyle that he wants to live. For example, he may cut his workout short to go indulge in some foods that he wasn't planning on indulging in and doesn't want to really indulge in. But because he looks good and his other friends and family are doing it, why shouldn't he as well? And I think this is something we can all relate to. And if you can relate to this, please do us a favor and drop a comment down below to share your experiences with us so we can learn and grow together, sharing how we've handled these situations and how we've been able to overcome this obstacle. One example from my journey was during one of my cutting phases where I weighed 35 pounds more than I do right now. And I shared my before photos on Facebook and immediately received comments from other men who said, your before photos are my after photos. Like that's exactly what I'm striving to achieve at the end of my fat loss phase. You're looking great the way you are right now. And yeah, I looked pretty darn good at the start of that, but I felt like crap. I was depressed. I was lethargic. I felt bloated all the time. I felt uncomfortable. I wasn't performing my best in any aspect of my life. So it was great. I mean, these were well-meaning comments and sure that was a legitimate goal that they were aiming to achieve, but it wasn't my goal. And on a more harsh level, I've had clients share with me that as they're getting closer to achieving their fat loss goals, friends and family members are asking if they're sick, if everything's okay, that they should stop losing weight. That's happened with all of my workout partners. I recall Mike when he lost the 30 pounds with me. This was six years ago uh, during a 12 week cutting phase. Uh, towards the end, people were asking, are you okay? Are you sick? What's wrong with you here? And, uh, the interesting thing is that those same people, one year later, were saying, oh my God, Mike looks so incredible. It looks great, doesn't he? He weighs the exact same. He maintained his results from that cutting phase. And they're like, he looks incredible right now. I'm like, why? You said he looks sick back then. But it's because when you make a dramatic transformation like that, your face looks thinner. It's just not, it's not what people are accustomed to seeing. So they're going to make comments like that, but they will adjust to your new norm as you stay lean. And another example from my journey was with my ex-wife, wonderful woman, incredible mother. Uh, but I always found that whenever I was making progress and on the, any aspect of my life, that's that's when she became a little bit more critical of me or started making comments that I felt held me back, held me down. Uh, for example, with fitness, I always found she's very critical of my lifestyle choices, my food choices, um, my structure of my nutrition. And as I was getting closer and closer to achieving my fat loss goals, she made comments that I'm looking frail, that she liked me better when I was fatter. And I took those to heart and it really did hold me back in those moments. But the lesson here is that it's so easy to pass blame on others whenever we experience this kind of sabotage. But what I found personally is that blaming my ex or anyone else for that matter is exactly what kept me stuck. It's not their fault. They're living their truth, but you don't have to live their truth. You need to take personal responsibility. You can't control what others think, say, or do. What you can control is how you respond. First, it's important to evaluate where the source of the comment is coming from. Is it coming from someone who shares similar health and well-being values as you do? Or is it coming from someone who's living a lifestyle that you're trying to move away from? Whenever this topic comes up, I'm always reminded of a great quote from Jiddu Krishnamurti who decades ago said that it's no measure of good health to be well adjusted to a profoundly sick society. In other words, don't conform to the norm. And in today's society, the norm is obesity. So it doesn't matter what others want. What matters is what do you want? Why do you want it? What will it take to get what you want? And are you willing to do what it takes to achieve that? Then go out and get it. So during that live group call, that Jack Death 40 member mentioned that it's not so much a scale weight that he's aiming for, or even a body fat percentage that he's aiming for. It is a look that he was striving for. So it's really important to hold that vision in his mind of what he wants to achieve, that look that he's going for. And then the more important thing is now that you know what you're going for, why do you want to achieve that goal? I definitely had a lot of reasons why it was important for me to get lean, but even more important, why I want to stay lean while building upon my physique. It's all about 
living my life to the fullest with confidence, pride, zest, and vitality. Being able to give the best of myself to all that I do, to my fitness, to my work, to my relationships, my family, my friends, all that I do, I wanna be able to give the best of myself to it. And it's really important for us to understand that we're gonna be facing this challenge for the rest of our lives because we are outside of the norm. We are driven to become the best version of ourselves. So. We need to be prepared to handle these challenges when they arise. I like to, when I'm faced with these situations, to pause for a moment before I react, before I respond, think to myself like, how would the best version of myself handle this situation? I don't even have a name for the best version of myself thanks to going through the optimized coaching program. I refer to the best version of myself as Great Scott, which always puts a smile on my face. Think of the guy from uh, Back to the Future crazy hair there, so I'm smiling, and the best version of me would handle that situation with kindness, with empathy, understanding where that comment is coming from, and if it's coming with genuine concern there. And it's just, this person is living their truth. It doesn't have to be my truth. I'm just, thank you, thank you for your concern. Thank you for your insights. I appreciate you telling me that I look good. Um, that is freaking awesome. But you know what, in this moment right now, I don't really want that pizza. I'm really freaking craving a chicken breast and sweet potatoes and baked Brussels sprouts like that kind of stuff's like candy to me. I'm really craving it right now. Um, so I'm gonna go for that, but I appreciate your, your offer there. Really kind of you, um, thank you. And then that's it, you just roll with your day from there. Don't try to change other people, change yourself. Become the best version of yourself. Lead by example. Let your example be the thing that sparks change in them. And it's not about striving for perfection. It's not about not being able to have certain treats here or there or anything like that. It's about you, it's about growth. It's about just becoming better and and better from day to day, moment to moment. I really hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please do me a favor, smash that thumbs up button, I'd really appreciate it. If you wanna see more videos like this, be sure to subscribe to the channel and hit that alert button so you're notified each time I upload a video. If you know a fellow bro who would benefit from watching today's video, please do me a favor and share it with them. But more than anything, I'd love to hear from you down in the comment section below. Share your thoughts, share your insights, share your feedback. Let me know if you can relate to this challenge in your life and how you've handled these situations. Before you go, don't forget to download your free guide, Jacked After 40. Have yourself an amazing day. Catch you in the next video.